हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम आवर साइंस बुक दैट इज चैप्टर इलेवन फोर्स वर्क एंड एनर्जी दिस इज ए क्वाइट डिफरेंट चैप्टर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर अंडरस्टूड सो लेट एस स्टडी व्हाट इज फोर्स स्टूडेंट्स सपोज यू आर इन योर स्कूल you are attending your science class and your science ma'am ask you to give the science book then what are you doing first you open your school bag then you pull out the science book put it on the table or you keep it in the table you have to lift the book and keep it on the table so students in our everyday life we either pull things push things or lift things with the help of our hands and different body parts so children this pulling and pushing is known as force so let us see the definition of force what is force a push or pull acting on an object is called force when you pull something or push something you have to apply force understood with your pulling and pushing the objects move this is force there are so many things that a force can do a force can make an object move a force can change the direction of a moving object a force can stop that moving object fourth thing is that a force can also change the direction of the object change the shape of the object understood so how let us uh, let me explain you how these four things are done by applying force students a force can make an object move you can see here on my table here this is the duster now this is in rest position understood this is not moving but when you apply force on it means you are pushing the duster it is moving okay and it comes to this position so students your duster is here in the starting point when you apply some force with your hand it move and comes to this position understood so by applying force you can make an object move when i apply force the object start moving understood and by applying force also the object can change its direction towards this understood now student in vehicles suppose you are driving a car or a bicycle or a bike the driver when it applies when he applies force okay it can move by applying force the vehicle can come to the stop position come to the rest position by applying force either the driver give brake understood he has to apply force when the driver apply the brake to slows down and stop the vehicle he has to apply force understood suppose your mother every day your mother takes some flour wheat flour and by the help of water by mixing water she makes a dough and from that dough she takes small balls and on the rolling board your mother keeps that small bowl of wheat dough and just roll it on the board with a roller then your mother gives it a round shape and makes a roti now student it is proved that when we apply force we can change the shape of an object 
सपोज यू आर एंग्री यू हैव ए क्वारल विथ युअर ब्रदर और सिस्टर देन यू आर वेरी एंग्री एंड यू थ्रो अवे द टॉय कार और एनी टॉय इट विल ब्रेक इट विल ब्रेक हाउ दिस ऑल्सो प्रूव दैट वेन यू थ्रो द कार थ्रो एवे द कार यू अप्लाय सम फोर्स देन इट सेप इज चेंज मीन्स इट इट इज ब्रेक it is broken then the shape is changed so by applying force you can change the shape of an object understood when you take a rubber band and you apply force it straights means its shape is changed okay so students force can do many things force can make an object move it can stop an object it can change the direction of objects it can also change the shape of an object force is of two types here force is of two types gravitational force and frictional force let us study one by one what is gravitational force or what is gravity students if you throw something suppose i am throwing this pen what happen it comes down to the floor it's it comes down to the floor when you play with a ball and you throw the ball upward it comes down to the ground yes or no fruits like mangoes guava or apple when they ripe they do not go upward toward the sky they comes down to the ground it's amazing students that we can live on the upper part of the earth surface we can walk we can move we can build our houses okay there is water in seas oceans rivers in streams the water of the streams flows downward it does not go upward towards the sky okay the fountains also the water coming out from the fountains comes towards the ground why they do not goes towards the sky yes due to this gravitational force so let us see what is gravitational force our earth our planet earth has a special kind of force by which it can attract everything towards its center it can pull everything towards its center this force is known as gravitational force or gravity with the help of this gravitational force it is possible for all living bodies to live on the surface of the earth students if there is no gravitational force if there is absence of gravitational force of our earth we can't live on the earth we float on the earth surface we go away from the earth surface that is the reason in the space the astronauts or the scientist who went there they float due to lack of gravity understood due to lack of gravity they float all the food packets dry food packets they are pen paper they have to tie with ropes or with with hooks otherwise they will float inside the spacecraft also do you know in class 5 we will learn uh, sunita in space there is a chapter in your ncert book sunita in space and you when you see the picture inside the space craft the hairs of sunita will 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 stand the hair stood okay due to lack of gravity due to lack of gravitational force in uh, the space so students so what is gravitational force of gravity the special force of our planet earth by which it can pulls or attracts everything towards its center is known as gravitational force or gravity clear now come to the second type of force that is frictional force or friction what is frictional force gravitational force is easy for you for, to understand so this is some bit tough for you to understand but let me explain you listen carefully 
वट इज फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स फॉर फ्रिक्शन द रेस्ट्रिक्टिंग फोर्स बिटवीन अ मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द सर्फेस इज नोन एज फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स और फ्रिक्शन वॉट इज रेस्ट्रिक्टिंग फोर्स येस यू हैव क्वेश्चन मैम वॉट इज रेस्ट्रिक्टिंग फोर्स स्टूडेंट्स वेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट मूव्स देर इज ए फोर्स वर्किंग बिटवीन दैट मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द सर्फेस सपोज दिस डस्टर इज यूर एंड दिस दिस टेबल इज द सर्फेस वेन इट मूव्स यूर a force is acting between the underside of this duster and the surface this is frictional force and this frictional force help the moving object to slows down and stop understood help the moving object to slows down and stop students if there is no frictional force then what happen you know all the moving objects continue moving when you start walking then you continue walking you will not stop forever forever you walk forever you run if you want start running then you will run continue running so this frictional force slows down the movement the motion understood and finally brings the moving object into stop position into rest position this is frictional force understood students frictional force here one thing if you want to walk on a marble ground marble surface or some polishing tiles or on glass uh, floors it is easier for you to walk but it's some uh, bit difficult to walk on grass carpets or rocky uh, grounds rocky floors rocky surface why because students when the smoother surface produces less friction on smoother surface or smooth surface friction is less so you have to apply less force to work on it to move on it not only you to make movement of any object is you have to apply less force on smooth surface but on rough surfaces friction is more so any object or your body has to apply more force to work on it understood get it so students always remember smoother surface has less friction so we have to apply less force to move any object on it and rough surface has more friction that's why you have to apply more force to make an object move on it yes that's why it is easy to walk on a, a polishing a tiles or marble ground or glass floors understood and it is very difficult it is submit we have to apply more force more energy to walk on a rocky surface or on sand or on grass carpets understood so students this is all about force understood so you have to remember a pull or push acting on an object is known as force force is of two types gravitational force and frictional force what is gravitational force how it helpful how it is helpful and what is frictional force what is the usefulness of frictional force understood now come to work what is work students the whole day we are doing some work yes or no yes i tell you to push the wall of your house the whole day you try to push the wall of your house then can you displace the wall of the house can the can the wall of your house move no then work done is zero there yes in physics or in science or during this chapter work is work done is zero there the amount of work done is zero there students the whole day you are working the whole day you apply force on that wall to push it to make it move 
but it does not means you are not doing any work so in the language of science work is said to be done when a force applied on an object moves it from its position this is important this is important moves it from its position understood work is said to be done when a force applied on an object okay moves it from its position in the direction of force applied in the direction of force applied yes let me explain you suppose you are pushing a chair chair sir uh, you can push a chair you have the capacity to push a chair and you make it move to some extent in in the ground in your house understood work is said to be done there and the chair moves in the direction towards what you apply the force suppose you are pushing the chair from this side the chair moves forward not backward so when you apply force to an object and the object starts moving in which direction in the direction towards you apply the force then work is said to be done understood then work is said to be done students in your book you see this boy is applying force to move this big rock but it is not possible for a boy of your age to move this big rock okay so work is not done here but here the boy is pushing this chair and it is moving towards some distance then work is said to be done here understood so children work is said to be done only when suppose this is an object suppose this is an object understood and you here this is you here is you and you apply force here you apply force here got it and when you apply force here here you apply force this is the object objects are non living things remember it till now you are learning about living things i am telling you about an object that is non living thing so you have to apply force on it to make it move as living things move themselves objects or non living things could not so when you apply force on this object this object come to this position okay this position means this is the distance covered by this object when you apply force means displacement of the object takes place here means movement of the object means the object changes its place its position and when you apply force on this object towards this side this direction the object moves towards this self not that self okay so children this is all about work so always remember work is said to be done only when you apply force on an object and the object starts moving from its original position towards the direction in which you apply the force so today we learn about force different two types of force work we also learn about the things that could be done by applying force that i told you that force can stop an object it can move an object it can change the direction of an object it can also change the shape of an object so children all of you learn this part of chapter 11 carefully in our next class we will discuss about some machines yes that is related to work okay all of you learn this part thank you